This means wildlife is also alive and thriving. Yeah, and that includes our slithering friends, snakes, maybe your slithering friend. Ugh. Cape Hatteras issuing a warning on its Facebook to look out for rattlesnakes. It comes after a rattlesnake was seen outside a park building near the Bodie Island Light Station. So the warmer weather also bringing sharks to the Carolina coast. A 10 year old boy was very likely bitten by a shark at Hilton Head Beach over the weekend. A new report shows there were 10 reported shark attacks in South Carolina in 2017. That's up from just five in 2016. So how do you stay safe while enjoying the outdoors this time of year? NBC Charlotte's Rob Hughes talked to the experts and has the warnings and safety guidelines that you need to know. Experts say between the months of April and October, prime time for running across a snake, and it doesn't have to be in the mountains. Rattlesnakes on the beach, sharks in the ocean. It makes you wonder, where can a guy safely get a tan these days? Last week, this video of a shark mere feet from the shoreline on Emerald Isle. A few days later, just up the coast, the National Park Service capturing these pictures of a timber rattlesnake right outside a staff building on the beach. Interactions between humans and rattlesnakes are becoming more and more prevalent every year. For the second time in nine months, a rattlesnake sighting on the outer banks going viral on social media. This video captured in September on Ocracoke Island shows a rattler slithering out to sea. Experts say rattlesnakes on the beach aren't common. You're more likely to see them on trails to the beach. Pay attention to where your hands and your feet are being placed. Easier said than done in the sandy Carolina waters, officials say a 10-year-old boy was likely bitten by a shark at Hilton Head Island Sunday. In 2017, there were eight reported shark bites at Hilton Head alone, 10 total in South Carolina. The sharks are always there. And usually they don't attack, but if you want to play it safe. It's not to go swimming kind of at dusk and dawn when sharks are most active, not to wear flashy jewelry when they're out swimming around. Rob Hughes, NBC Charlotte.